Oh, Lisa, how's that? How good's how's Gucci that? looking? Fantastic stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, ladies, Thanks, uh, the time has come for you two to head off for your, for your mammograms this morning, mm -hmm. which you're doing live. How are you feeling? I'm really glad that Georgie and I are doing mm -hmm. it together. Mm. I think to go with a girlfriend is a great way to do it. Mm. I agree. Um, because you can power each other up and you're there for support and... Yeah, just it feels right doing it with Georgie. Yeah. Oh, good, good. good. Yeah. Good, good, good. We can hold hands. And That's right. Do all that sort of stuff. Can I ask yeah. a bloke question? Yeah. Does it hurt? I've, I've never had one. I'm yet to find okay. out. Yeah, I've Did had them before. Look, they're, they're not the most comfortable thing, but, yeah. you know, I compare so much to childhood, and I figure once you've given birth to a child, yeah. nothing compares. It's mm. it, Look, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Like but most things medical, where you go and get a test yeah, or, but a you can, or a yeah. yeah, But also, you compare it to the alternative. If you don't catch something early, it just doesn't come close. Mm. Come anyway, yeah. we're going we're gonna to do it. Live on air, and we can explain it all cool. as we do it. Yep. Right and on. the beautiful Deb Knight has stepped years. in. Deb's here. Well done. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Deb. Oh, no. God. All right. Deb, we'll you're, head in, off. you're in charge, okay? Well, okay. Crack then. that whip, Deb. All right, I'll see okay. how I go. Ben, Good luck. Deb Wish Deb me luck. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you. I'm going this way. See you. See you soon. See you, Lisa. See you, Bye. Bye. Talk to you from there. All right, so Lisa and Georgie are off in an hour's time. We'll be crossing to the Marta Hospital to witness the girls get that mammogram live on. On air to stick around. Now, about half an hour ago, Lisa and Georgie set off to the Marta Hospital in Sydney to prepare for their mammograms. Let's check in on how they're doing. Good morning to you both. It's a big thing you're doing, important mm. awareness. How are you feeling? Um, feeling feeling pretty good, a little bit nervous, although Georgie and I had an amazing moment when we arrived here about uh, 15 minutes ago. A beautiful lady who is currently um, staying at the hospital, she had preventative uh, mastectomy uh, last week and she came down to greet us at the door to, um, to say thank you for spreading the message. And, you know, when you meet a woman like that, you know, we just know that we're doing the right thing. So, mm. so we're... We feel really good about mm. about what's happening this morning. And Georgie, yeah. this is the it, first um, time you've had. To a... be honest, I, to be honest, I hadn't given I hadn't given it a lot of thought right. until we met this extraordinary woman who greeted us. And um, tell you what, that really hits home when someone is yeah. taking the action of having preventative mastect mastectomy. Mm. Um, and, and this woman looked to be, what, probably aged in her 40s, early 40s? Yeah, um, maybe even that, 30s. That has actually really impacted on me. Yeah, me too. That, um, you know, th these are the brave women who are out there taking action like that. Yeah. Well, it's a great thing you're doing this morning. Um, I know that um, we're going to be crossing back to you in a couple of minutes' time. So you, you ladies go and get prepared. It's great to see that the martyr has us on too, because that, that in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> on the TV behind it's a you. Good thing. Right throughout the building. It's a hospital we're of great taste. We're everywhere at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. We'll see you soon. That's happening live just after 7.30. Across now to uh, Lisa and Georgie at the Marta Hospital in Sydney, specifically Georgie. Hey, Georgie. Hey, Carl. Now, don't be fooled. We might be gowned up, but we're not at some exotic resort. <laughs> we're actually at the, uh, the Marta Hospital in Sydney, and as you, you might have heard, Lisa and I have signed up today to have a very important mammogram. Um, we figure this is a, a wonderful opportunity to raise some awareness and to remind women that it really is a vital um, test that they need to, to think about having after the age of 40 to try and prevent, uh, obviously, getting breast cancer. Now, Lisa is inside as we speak, and she is undergoing uh, the first test. She's the first cab off the rank, and uh, we'll just cross to her now, and you can have a look at what's going on in there. So while Lisa's having her, uh, her test, I'm going to bring in um, Dr. Meryn McKessa, who is a radiologist and you're the, the breast imaging specialist here at the Marta Hospital. Well, Thank you so much for enabling us to do this today because it is a, a critical message to get through to all women, isn't it, over the age of 40? Absolutely. Absolutely it is. Um, would you like me to explain what Lisa's having at that'd, the moment? That'd be great. Okay. Because, I think, because I guess what we want to also do is dispel some of the myths and, yeah. the, and the concerns and, and anxiety that women might have yeah. about doing this examination. Yeah, that's right. Look, what Lisa's having at the moment is a mammogram where she's having four X-ray pictures of her breast done. 
She will have two of the right breast, two of the left breast. We take those pictures at different angles so that we get a complete picture of a breast tissue. Those images are then sent to a monitor in a work, at a workstation where in very high definition we read those films. Now for most women that's all they'll need, so they'll just need those four pictures. If we look at the films and it's all okay, she will get a report saying there's no signs of breast cancer. Sometimes we need some more information and that might be because of something we're seeing on the mammogram or it might be because Lisa's got a lump that she can feel or her doctor might be feeling a lump. In that case we might need some more information by doing one or more extra mammogram images or we might need a breast ultrasound. But that's not often the case and most of the time what Lisa's having now is all that's needed and it's very simple. I know you advocate breast self-examination as well, don't you? It's very important, I guess, that women get that message that regular, just checking that things are right within yourself is a good idea. Yeah, look, I think it's important that women know what their breasts feel like and if they notice any change in their breast, the best thing is to go and see their doctor and, and have a breast test and um, their doctor will then refer them for further imaging as needed and something like this. For women who have a family history, they are considered to be more predisposed to, to getting breast cancer? Yeah, um, most breast cancers occur in women that don't have a significant fa family risk, but a small percentage of women do have a high risk of breast cancer and they need to see their doctors about assessing their breast risk. And there are certainly some very good tools for assessing breast risk. Uh, I direct women to the Cancer Australia website and the Breast Screen websites and they can assess their risk there. What are the signs to look out for? <laughs> Any breast change, so that might be a lump that you don't normally feel, it might be a change in the shape of the breast, the size, it might be a, ch a change in the colour or the shape of the nipple. Um, any unexplained or prolonged pain, not, not the sort of pain you might get with a menstrual cycle, but um, any unexplained pain, but, but all those things. Any change, they should ask their doctor. I know we've come a long way in this country, haven't we, in terms of research and, and preventative measures and, and of course treatment and, and cure, but I did read that seven women are still dying every day in Australia from breast cancer. We've got a way to go. Yeah, but we're making great inroads into both uh, diagnosis of breast cancer and treatment. And, and I would urge all women to have regular breast checks and to um, have uh, treatment or screening. Mm -hmm. um, I think we were going to talk about this a bit later, but maybe we'll do that now. Look, what I, my message is um, don't be afraid to have a mammogram. Don't be afraid to go to your doctor if you've got any sort of breast signs or symptoms. Um, we have this amazing thing in Australia called Breast Screen Australia, which is a free screening mammogram service. It's um, targeted to women between the ages of 50 and 75, but it's available and free to women of the age of 40. Mm -hmm. um, that provides free screening mammograms to women every two years. And really that is the best thing women can do um, to, to uh, reduce their risk of having a breast cancer that's not yeah. detected early enough. Absolutely. I think what you're saying is information is power. Absolutely. Get all the information. Absolutely. Really good advice. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We will go to a break now. Lisa will then come out and tell us about her experience and I'm going to behind that closed door myself. So we'll see you after the break with more.